Hi guys, Princess Honeypot here. Uh, I've got part two of my uh, May mug haul. Um, been gifted some lovely ones and I've bought a few with my own money. I'm not doing this to brag or anything, but uh, I think we should just get straight in because again, there's quite a few. So I'm going to start with this humongous <sighs> Pixar mug that is almost the size of my head. It's plain yellow inside. It is uh, just the Pixar ball. And yeah, I like the big red star on that one. I cannot get over the size of it. It is absolutely huge. You can probably get about a pint of tea in there. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, big, very, very big. Nice colours and cost £11. So, yeah, so that's my first one. All right. And next we'll go with uh, I got gifted this one yesterday. And it's, as you can see, Doug from Up. And it says Squirrel. And some rocks on there all the way around and then when you turn it round you've got Kevin <laughs> popping up from behind a rock so that's Kevin uh, this really cool handle kind of looks like a number nine but yeah so it's very happy and that's like a sort of a, a dingy kind of brownie green colour inside and this one can go in the dishwasher although i don't put my disney mugs in the dishwasher i really like the colors of this one i love dark and i love the way he's done sort of cartoony and you can see his collar on so he can talk but yeah so that's number two and next we'll go with Another one that I was very kindly gifted is one of my favourite villains ever is Scar. And when this one came out in the Disney store, I missed it. And absolutely love this. Look at his evil grin. Evil, it's evil grin? No, evil look. <laughs> and it, it, I don't know if you can tell, but his eyes are yellow. So I like the sheen on this as well. And it's black inside. And on the other side, it says, it's got a hyena, and it says, forgive me for not leaping for joy. <laughs> and it retailed at £11. And it can't go in the dishwasher, this one. But yeah, as I say, I really like the sheen on this one. You can sort of, sort of iridescent -y. I don't know if you can tell by the camera so that's number three uh, next we have um i don't know if you remember but if you saw part one of my haul of the mugs um, i bought the uh pocahontas uh mug that cost eight pounds on disney store and so i went and bought the mulan the other one to the set it's got a little brother and mushu Mulan, Mushan, Ping, <laughs> or Mulan as Ping, Mushu, and a really nice sort of portrait of Mulan. And then it's got a hair comb and crickies down here with his little um, cage thing that she carries him around in. And some pretty swirls. That's a really pretty colour, and I like the, the flowers up here. I love Little Brother. He's so cute. So, yep, yeah, and this one's just a really nice kind of yellowy colour. And I like the size of these ones. They're like the perfect cup size for me for a cup of tea. Um, and this one was the same as the Pocahontas, £8. And it can go in the dishwasher, but again, it won't be. 
So that's that one. Right, how many is that I've done? Is that one, two, three, four? It's rather a lot. Uh, I was also gifted this gorgeous Snow White one. I've actually got the Rapunzel one and in the last haul I showed you the Cinderella one that I was kindly gifted as well. The only other one from this set is the uh, Little Mermaid aerial one which is like a purple shell. So I shall see if I can track that one down and I've got the whole set. I like this with the green and then it's got the apples on the tree and you've got Snow White's signature here and it's the wishing well and it's really really cool it's the little bucket for lowering things and the rope and then I can see it yeah same on the other side but it's very pretty it's kind of a greeny bluey kind of emeraldy colour inside and it says the kindest one of all and I realise that is backwards to you guys and it retailed at $27.99 and again it can't go in the dishwasher so that's that one the rest I I think I bought with my own money. Yes, I did. Right. So, uh, firstly, I've got the brand new anniversary of the Free Caballeros. Love the picture on this. There they are. Donald. Uh, this is quite a small mug it's a yellowy kind of color inside it is a uh, 75th anniversary of the free caballeros and then you've got a really nice picture of them on the back i've actually met him at disneyland is it is it panja i don't know i can't remember their names so i'm really sorry about that <laughs> Yeah, and I, I just like the way, I like the colours on this and the little design. And this one was £12. And it's got also got the underneath the price, the 75th anniversary, anniversary on the bottom. So really, really like that one. So yeah, put that one down there. Uh... Next, I have uh, Billy Goat and Gruff from Toy Story 4. Look how cute! <laughs> it's so cute! It's a blue and yellow star, and you've got. Um, I don't know what those are on the side. They look like kind of gems. You've got a blue and a green, and the sun. And on the other side, you've got a yellow star and a taco. <laughs> and look at their little feet. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and yeah, uh, and the back of their feet is on the back. Uh, brand new. Uh, I only paid, I think, £5 with this, including postage. So I was really, really happy to get this because I missed this one when it came out. And no way would I put that in the dishwasher. So I don't know why it says that. <laughs> and yeah, so I like the Disney castle on the bottom of that. So I really, really like that. As I say, I do use most of my mugs, although I don't know how easy this one would be to drink out of. It's got quite a small oval hole, so I don't know. We shall see. Uh, next I have a uh this is definitely me born disney raised disney 100 percent. this is true <laughs> and it's just a uh, black white and red 
like how the Disney and the the Disney writing is written in red, so it's more clear. I like the red handle. Looks like half a heart. If you can see, and then um, it's just plain red inside. It cost eight pounds. And the best thing about this mug is all the Mickey head balloons. So cute. And this is quite a big mug. So another very large one. Uh, what else have we got down here? Or up here rather. Uh, let's go with uh, one of my favourites. I think this month is uh, a Mr Toad mug. Look at him! His little car. <laughs> He's so cute. Love how he's hanging on, driving away and his little legs up in the air. And you've got the horn down here. Don't know how well this is focusing, but it says Mr Toad here. I don't know quite know what these wheels are made of. And then on the other side, it's just plain red inside. And on the other side, it says, what have I been missing? With a really cool picture of Mr. Toad, although his eyes freak me out a bit. <laughs> kind of scary looking. But yeah, this is a fairly large mug. Um, I don't know if anyone saw my uh, Winnie the Pooh and my Princess and the Frog one. It's kind of that sort of size. This one was £8. And oh, it's got a 70th anniversary on the bottom, which I didn't realise. And yeah, so that's that one. And I've got three more to show you. I finally managed to track down Dr. Facilio's hat. Now this is massive. Massive, massive. Black inside. And uh, it's got... It's just so cool with the skull and crossbones. I do like Dr. Facilio. He does actually really freak me out <laughs> in the film, but he's a very good villain. A red band around his hat and it's got this was uh 12 pounds and it says disney's princess and the frog on the bottom but i just think this is really really cool and then it's just played on the other side and again i think i showed you but it's just plain inside so really, really like that one. I tried to get that one last time it came out and I missed it. And I've absolutely loved this one. This is a Frozen 2 mug. And it's got, it's kind of like iridescent and very glittery. But I don't know if the camera will show up how glittery it is. I don't think I can get it to shine. It's very iridescent. And these are very, very sparkly. And you've got all the leaves. This is a frozen two mug. And there's Anna. With some really nice trees in the background. With the leaves and snowflakes everywhere. And it's a uh, plain light blue inside. Well, it's sort of an iridescent blue, actually. It's quite pretty. Um, it's quite shiny on the bottom. It was uh, £10 and got the huge Disney castle. And the best thing about this mug is not only has it got Elsa in iridescent, if you look down here, you've got the knock. There's his face and his ears. And you can see a little bit of him there. So that's really cool. And there's the water. And she's got that really pretty, Elsa's got that really pretty dress on. Uh, the spoiler alert but near the end of the film I actually love that dress I would so love that dress and I like the way the art works done on these I think it's really cool and the handles really amazing as well so I really really love that and yeah as I said that one was £10 and the last one 
is I think my favourite. It is the 65th anniversary. Don't know if that's going to focus. Of Lady and the Tramp. And you've got Tony and can't remember the other one's name um, playing the accordion and the mandolin. And then you've got Lady, some spaghetti and meatballs, and of course you've got Tramp on the other end. You've got candles, and it's so pretty. I love the Bella Note scene. I don't even know if I've pronounced that right. But this is such a pretty, it's like proper photographic. I love the gold handle. It's a really nice sort of light bluish colour inside, sky blue. And 65th anniversary. And this one was £13. And it's definitely my favourite. Absolutely, 100% love it so much and again so that is it for the second part of my mug haul um i will be doing another video uh at next week sometime for to show you uh some of the other things that i've got this month from uh disney hall um there's various things i've got books and funko pops and um sets of figures ears you name it i've got it so yeah so um i really hope everyone's all right and don't worry guys lockdown won't be much longer hopefully um in the uk anyway i'm not sure about anywhere else um unfortunately i still won't be allowed to go out when it's um getting to the stage where people can still meet because apparently because i'm vulnerable i still can't um as with my health, I'm going for an urgent heart scan at the Brompton on Monday. Um, it, it was going to be done a month ago, but because of the lockdown, they said it wasn't safe enough for me to go. So I'm going to have that Monday morning at the Brompton in London. And um, yeah. I just thought I'd tell you, I, I'm not going to put as much stuff about my health on here anymore um, for various reasons, which I'm not going to go into. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall speak to you all soon. And if you enjoyed this, please give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all again soon. Take care now. Bye bye.